uh, hello my dear students uh, welcome to NAK Academy uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss about uh, chapter number seven which is graphs so <clears throat> in this section uh, we have a couple of learning objectives uh, to be achieved uh, which are listed uh, in your textbook that you can see in the very first page of the uh, lesson so let me quickly uh, brief about uh, this chapter so if you take graphs uh, we are going to discuss uh, two types of graphs one is uh, straight line straight line graphs and the other one is curve curves so we say straight lines uh, takes in the form of y equal mx plus c whereas uh, curves uh, the function we use which is y equal ax square plus bx plus c so I will explain in detail about uh, each one of these functions and their components. So let's uh, start with straight line. So we are going to draw a straight line uh, graphs. So before we uh, move into this section, uh, let's see where we are going to uh, draw this particular graph. We call it the Cartesian plane or the coordinate, coordinate plane. So coordinate plane consists with uh, two axes. It consists with uh, two axes. One is x axis, which is the uh, horizontal line, and the other axis is y axis, which is the vertical line. So we have the center, and we can say these are positive values. And the x, the left side, we use to mark the negative values. Similarly, when you take the y axis also, we have positive values on the top. So we can keep, uh, keep on mark these values uh, until the inf infinite uh, range. So we don't need to mark a lot of values at the moment since this is the uh, beginning so i'll just mark from plus 4 to minus 4 values for each uh, line so as you can see here we have uh, four quadrants four areas this is one number one and this is number two let's say this is number three and number four so we have uh, four quadrants uh, we can see here. So if I take quadrant one, both the x values and the y values are increase in this region. So when you take the second quadrant or the second region, uh, while x values are reducing, y values are increases. That is the behavior that we can see in the second quadrant. And when we take the third quadrant, both the x value and the y values are reduced. And if I take the fourth quadrant, while x values are increasing, y values are reduced. So this is the normal behavior that we see in a coordinate plane. So you can simply draw a coordinate plane by intersecting two lines. The horizontal line is x-axis and the vertical line is y-axis. 
the center we denote with the value 0 and x axis if you take the right side the values go with positive numbers or positive integers and the left side goes with the negative integers similarly if you take the y axis the top part we can consider as all positive values while the bottom part we can consider as negative value so i hope uh, you have a clear understanding of what is this coordinate plane is because we are going to use this coordinate plane in order to draw our straight line graphs also the curves so before drawing a straight line graph let's make sure how we are going to plot values in this region so next i'm going to write down plot values in a given coordinate plane also we call this as a cartesian plane so let's use the word coordinate plane so each point indicates with two value we'll say i'm going to take this as an example okay the first value always indicates the x value whereas the second value indicates with corresponding y value so meeting of these two points brings us the coordinate and the point a so here also this is x value and this is y value x value and y value so i'm going to draw the coordinate plane now and i'm trying i'm going to mark these coordinates and the respective points so it say this is one two three and four make sure when you are uh, drawing this coordinate plane the values between uh, the two the the distance or the gap should be equal so don't draw coordinate plane uh, with uh, without equal so then it you will be end up with uh, drawing a wrong straight line finally since you are using a uh, mathematics books it is very convenient for you to draw this straight line or this coordinate plane so i'm going to mark here this is one two three and four minus one minus two minus three and minus four so now i'm going to uh, plot I'm going to plot this particular coordinate so we know the x value is 2 and the y value is 3 so the current x is 2 over here y is 3 over here so where these two points meet each other at here so this is a so I'm going to mark a as 2 and 3 so when I take uh, B, coordinates of B are 0 and minus 4. So 0 is the center of this coordinate plane. So minus 4 belongs to Y, which is over here. Therefore, it comes on the line. This is the place we find B. And similarly, <coughs> if I take C, C has uh, the values of minus 2 and minus 4. So the x value is minus 2 and the y value is minus 4. So if I find the point where both the value satisfies at this section. So this is my C minus 2 and minus 4. So let's take one more 
we'll try to we'll take another two more and we'll try to plot in these regions so my x value is minus 2 and my y value is 3 and let's say e my x value is 4 and y value is minus 4 so this is x and y so always starts with x so now i'm going to plot d so the value of x is minus 2 and y coordinate is 3 so that means it's somewhere here so this is my d minus 2 and 3 and if i take e the coordinates are 4 and minus 4 so that comes with somewhere over over here this is my e so this is how we uh, plot the given coordinates in a coordinate plane or in a cartesian plane so i hope you have understood what is a coordinate plane so the co coordinate plane consists with uh, two lines or two axes the horizontal axis is y x axis and the vertical line is the y axis and the values are distributed with positive and negative integers and there are four regions or four quadrants you can see and it is easy to understand how the values of x and y behaves in each quadrant then the next section what we discussed is how we are going to plot values in a given coordinate plane so always remember a point or a coordinate consist with two values which are x and y the first value is always x value and the second value is a y value so we have to make sure to find out the exact point where both the values satisfies it is the place where we find out the given coordinate so i have done uh, five examples over here on how to plot values in a given uh, coordinate plane so let me give you a small exercise for you so that you can quickly uh, revise what you have learned so far so we'll say i'm going to give few uh, coordinates over here so that you can uh, draw the coordinate plane and mark these points in the coordinate plane so let's say e is 2 and minus 3 and finally we'll say f let's see let's take six values this is minus 4 and plus 3 so you can mark this uh, exercise uh, you can do this exercise and uh, you can simply send your answers to my email address that is azwarkhan6 at gmail.com so I will be able to check your answers and give you a feedback or else you can reach me through my whatsapp number that is double seven triple three two three double two if you need further clarification I am happy to help you and also leave your comments uh, in the comment sections if you need to 
know about this uh, basics of on how to draw the coordinate plane and how to plot a given coordinates so this is the very first video of this lesson graph so you will be see there are a series of videos uh, which comes to cover up this uh, lesson so stay tuned and uh, if you have any questions uh, you can leave your questions in the comment section and uh, like you can like this video if you uh, have really understood and if you're okay if you're happy and uh, share this video among your friends so that they will be also get a benefit out of this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel nak academy so i will continue the v uh, series of videos uh, of this lesson so stay tuned and stay safe have a nice day for everyone